Who are you betting on winning, Hanzo? I do not usually place bets. I merely just enjoy the sport. I'm assuming you place bets over things like this. Fair enough. You're the first person I've met outside of Junkertown that doesn't have a gambling addiction. Well, look who decided to join us. Did you make sure the sheets were returned to their glory? For the love of Shimada. Yes, I did. The next time you dirty the guest room with your seed, you're going to go back to living with Kiriko. Your brother always said you were mischievous. I didn't know that was the kind he was talking about. Can we just watch the game, please, and forget about this? Oh, what's wrong? Ashamed you got caught with your sword out, Cyborg Ninja? It's embarrassing! Please just shut up! Hm. I wonder who that could be. Yo, uh, you got a minute, Hanzo? Of course. What exactly brings you here, Lucio? It's not like you to just randomly show up without letting me know. Well, to be honest, I kind of came here for relationship and gentleman advice. I've been so lonely, it's fucking killing me. So, I thought perhaps maybe you could be my wingman? Hmm. I think I could fit that into my schedule. So who's the lady you have your eyes set on? You remember Hana, right? Professional gamer and mech pilot? You sure she's the one for you? It's just that she smells of Doritos and Mountain Dew. No offense to you and what your taste is. I'm sure Hanzo, 100% with a thousand percent. All right then. So what have you done so far? Well, I asked her out on a date, but I need your aid. Maybe a few others if you can. I want this to go perfectly, and I'm not exactly confident enough without some comfort. I see. Well, I think I know a guy who could possibly give you some help. Reyes, get your El Diablo ass. Motherfucker. What could you possibly need to summon me for? Were you expecting Sadako for your edging streak? Actually, I prefer mewing. You're cooked. On God. Look, can you guys just help me for fuck's sakes? I'm not dealing with this today, especially after the beach party. Who the hell are you even asking out? How did you know what this was about? My nigga, I know the method. But seriously, who are you going out with? It's Diva. Oh, hell fucking no. That Dorito-smelling bitch. I'm sorry, man. But she smells like she's never been in a shower. I bet her pussy is nothing but a jungle. And then you putting that monkey up in there. Fucking disgusting. At least I'm not fucking a widow. The first time was an accident. The rest was intentional, besides I'm not taking an insult from a fucking virgin. Look, let's just help him out, even if we think he deserves better. We are his friends, so we must be there for him, because that is what friends do. Who the fuck said this nigga was my friend? If I had a gun, and I saw him on my block, I'd shoot him. Oh, fuck you! Your gay ass is so gay, that even the Hasbin Hotel thinks you're too gay. And they're all gay! Watch your tone. And I won't put you in an early grave. I apologize, my glorious black king. Hey, it's Kiriko. Me personally, I wouldn't take that. All right. Let's just get Lucio ready for this date already. Instead of wasting time, we don't want him to be late. At least let me dap up my Asian princess. What do you mean by that? Nothing, you fucking nigga. <laughs> for the love of God, get your ass in the bath. Fuck no, I don't need a bath. No offense, but what makes you think your date's gonna like you smelling like unattended trash cans? Like you're one to talk? You definitely like your men all sweaty. Well, shit, I guess I can't argue then. Nobody wants to deal with you smelling like a used cum rag. But whether you like it or not, you're getting in this bath now. No, I am fucking not! One hour later. Alright, we're here, people. Remember, keep it by the book and don't ruin this. As much as I don't care about Lucio, I owe him. This is the first time I've ever seen you be nice and helpful. Why is that? If you must know, angel fucker. My therapist thinks I should be nicer to people. Sounds like a load of shit to me. But I'm doing it any fucking ways. No offense, but is there a reason you have to cuss every single second? Cause I can. Shh. Shut up. All right, Lucio and Diva are at the other table. We'll feed Lucio advice at this table. Try not to give him any stupid advice, all right? Whatever you say, expert on dating. You're looking lovely today. And oddly smell like lavender? Yeah, I got all nice and ready just for you, and totally not because I was forced to take a bath. That stench was vile, damn it. 
so, uh, uh, damn it, what do I say? Little bro's voice got deeper. Revenant, is that you? What's up, my nigga? Dap me up. What y'all got going on over here? We're helping Lucio out with his date. Damn, he's got a date. I never thought he had that dog in him. It's Diva. Nah, forget cooked. Bro's undercooked as fuck for picking that smelly ass snow bunny. I know, right? Both of you shut up. Lucio, ask her how her day was. Maybe that'll work. Wow. What a wonderful question, totally not generic. You got a better idea, Genji. Oh yeah, I do. How about not be so boring? Besides, you know she's gonna talk his head off now that you told him to ask her that? I don't see you coming up with any ideas. How about you think of something if you're so smart? Guys, this isn't helping. Maybe we should- Shut, Shut up, up Venture. Venture! Fine! My pronouns are K-M-A for kiss my ass, assholes. I'm gonna go work on my tentacle fanfiction. You always think you're so great, but if anything, you're just as stupid as me. I am not moronic like you. We've been here for at least two minutes, and you haven't helped in the slightest. So? You've been yelling at me, and you're not doing shit. Sorry that I'm being so awkward. I just didn't think you'd enjoy this date, or even, like, talking to me. I wanted to make sure that this was perfect, but I wasn't sure that things were going to go as planned, and I really do enjoy spending time with you. I'm just awkward. Really awkward. No, it's all right. I'm enjoying this. Besides, I only wasn't sure about doing this because I felt awkward, too. You wouldn't believe how much my friends were pushing me to do this. You want to get out of here and go back to your place? I don't blame you if you don't feel the same, but I think you're the one for me, and part of me hopes you feel the same. Of course, I was gonna see if you wanted to go later today anyways. Well, I... what the hell is going on over there? Come on, guys, stop this! No! He wants to argue, then I'll argue back, fuck you! This is for what you did to the bed sheets. Come at me, fuckboy, and I'll cut your dragon off. I'd like to see you try, you dishonorable red. Both of you stop this! Don't you see this is pointless? You're both brothers! You're supposed to love and care for each other. Doesn't that mean anything to you guys? You may not always agree on everything, but you shouldn't let arguments like this stop you from loving each other. So please don't fight, make amends, and put this behind you both. That was so corny. Fuck you, you're getting you. you Why did I agree to watch that? And you tell me these are supposed to be your friends? Yes, I thought it was quite funny. What in the hell is a n-